I'm going to be honest with you, mate, while we're here, it would be rude not to climb over that fence. 200 million year old sand, age eight, eight years, eight years 1977. Yeah, that's all. That's 1749 there. Eh? Whoa, 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 Eric, just stay there a minute. That's me, that's me. I'm there. So go just hold on to the gully. I wouldn't go that close, mate. So, so today you join us on a mildly moist one. And no, please don't turn over. You're not watching Pornhub. You are watching this channel. Now, when I say us, someone has been crying off this channel for ages. Oh, can I come back and please explore it? Yeah. It's him. No it's, he did. He no did. <laughs> anyway, so today we are in a place called Runcorn Hill Park, obviously in Runcorn. In short, it used to be a massive quarry back in the day. It quarried um, the Anglican Cathedral and it also quarried things for New York Docks apparently as well. And I was down the other day and I found some very significant historical things, should we say. Some highs and some lows and some very sad things as well, which I'll show you towards the end of this video. And um, I just thought I'd pop down, I had a quick look online as well. There's no real videos on this place. And I thought it's high time I'd done a video on it. There's quite a lot to see from the quality, the old quality days. I mean, I'm actually filming this intro now in some sort of like old sort of little cave. It's not significant, but it's significant enough to film and put in a video. So I just thought we'd, uh, we're going to start at the Delhi end, which is in the Highlands Road, Despacito's Cafe. And we're going to just take a wander right across to the reservoir. And along the way, we're going to show you some quite uh, quite interesting things. So without further ado, let's get mooching this old quarry. So just before we crack on, I'll just read you a little bit of information on this place. So this sandstone in this area was formed 250 million years ago when Cheshire was covered by a sea. Sandstone quarrying commenced in the area in 1734 and was at its peak 100 or so years later. It was the major industry in the town and the largest employer. With the old town, there was 18 working quarries at one time. Sandstone from Runcorn was used to build all over the UK. It was even exported to construct New York docks San Francisco docks and Galveston docks, Tatton Hall and Liverpool Anglican Cathedral in the UK and it also utilised more of its sandstone as well. So it's just a, a brief um, a brief bit of information on this this sandstone and this quarry. Right so as mentioned a bit of a wet one today so I am currently under an umbrella and we're going to start in Esposito's Cafe just on Highlands Road and we're going to go from one end of this quarry to the other as I well go down there yeah we're gonna start start at one end and then work our way across okay, so then. let's go so as we enter this park we've got quite a number of paths to choose from and they all seem to crisscross each other so we're basically just gonna probably head left and then work our way up to the um, the highest point to the right so yeah a bit of a well majorly wet today I came down here the other day and it was bone dry lots of people about and um, yeah very hot so even though it was raining today just thought you know what let's just get out and just have a mooch in the hope that there's not many people about and just I just like it like this so could make for interesting footage as well I'm currently using a gimbal on my phone today as well, even though I've got really good image stabilisation on my phone. I bought this gimbal a while ago, the Crane M2S, and I haven't used it. And I thought, you know what, good excuse to use it today just to see what kind of shots I can get, what movements I can get. So yeah, uh, we'll report back when we uh, probably find something interesting. Right, so we've just come to a crossroads and we're just about to take a right down here and see what's down here because I've been here before and I cannot remember for the life of me where we're going and last time I was here apart from the other day I seem to remember some sort of I'm sure it was a cave with like a gate on it and I asked a few locals the other day and they were like never even heard of it or seen it and um, I thought you know what I need to see it because that is there's rumoured to be tunnels here which they are and apparently they've been opened up or going to try and get opened up years ago and they never did so I don't know if it was a cave or a tunnel I can't remember but it was all it was all gated off anyway so we're going to try and find that as well today but there's a there's a cave 
what we can get in and there's a few other little bits and nooks and crannies that we can get into today so yeah but um we'll just have a little mooch now down another crossroads I don't know where we're going. Come on, George, don't be a professional. You know, straight straight down. A pond, here. You got a pond. pond. Oh, just, like, over, over <clears throat> That's going straight down that way, because you go this way. Um, go straight down. Are you sure? Yeah. <clears throat> because we need to find something called Happy Valley, apparently. And that's a big, massive valley full of what's left of uh, quarries. There's, there's all different types of names for these quarries. I can't remember offhand what they are, but there's quite a lot of uh, different names for them. Frog's Mouth, I think, and a couple of other ones. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to head on down here, see what we can find. Yeah, so we've got like a memorial here to, I think, someone's cat or dog. There's a little tuxedo cat and then a dog there and all these little wind chimes. Yeah, what's this one? Yeah. Do you think something's something's died here or what? Memories with, but there is. I bet you they've walked the dogs here, and then when the dogs have died, oh, yeah, they've done a yeah. little memorial for them. See, someone's even walked here. Yeah. I mean, this quarry, this sandstone, is 250 million years old, so right? So, Dino the dinosaur so, was the first one that started it off. Someone has walked a dinosaur here in the yeah. past, so he, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right, let's get here. Uh, let's get moving. Right, so we're now about to cross Peter Pan Bridge. Now, this old little walkway it used to be where they used to pull all the sandstone up and down into western docks and they've basically just put a bit of a footpath across it now and it looks pretty spectacular yeah we'll go down a minute we'll go down a minute so if i just flick the camera down and as we can see there so that path takes us down to western village and then there's the other side there. So I'll show you in a minute. Actually, I'll show you now before we carry on up this path because this is now crossing, uh, going across Happy Valley. And I'll show you one of the old mine carts that I left here as well. Right, so at the bottom now here is an old mine cart and some information on it. I'll stick a picture up in a minute, actually. Uh, down there is Western Docks. So the sandstone used to be hauled up and down via a track. Uh, straight into the docks and this is what they found years ago and basically just put it on public display uh, that path takes us back up to where we've kind of just been as i say it's a bit of a twisty crisscrossy sort of path system in here so uh, we've just gone from the top there peter pan bridge which we'll go across in a minute i'll just show you now before we carry on because we're going to go we're going to go down here but i'm just going to take it into this quarry here i can't remember off and what this was called because as I say there's all different names of the quarries so this one is not as big as what we're going to show you in a minute but it is still a very significant part of this video uh, so if I just get the camera up a little bit as we can see there a massive massive lock face right so we're just heading on under Peter Pan Bridge and I'll just show you some of the markings as well on this on these quarry walls you can see where it was all dug out all by hand no machinery back in the day all the markings there from all the chisels or knives and whatnot they used to Excavate this. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, they were for planks across. planks across, yeah. Let's make a platform. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I strapped one there, so we built a platform up. You get it all off there. Uh, you get it all off Eric here, you know. Not a not not a rip of his thing. So this just takes us down to, I can't remember the road name, but it leads on to Western Village. Right, so just before we head on over the bridge, uh, found on Runcorn Hill, these rails have been used to create a reconstruction of the original drum lines used to carry wagons or bogies, transporting the quarried sandstone to the docks where the rock would be loaded onto ships for exportation. So these wagons required no power and relied upon a drum pulley system to transport the rock to load to the loaded wagons travelling down to Western Docks would pull up the empty wagons for reloading. So photo of the original drum lines which are there, which I think in all honesty went down there. I think I mean because they wouldn't put this there otherwise would they? You know what I mean? So, it looks like it's, uh, it's going up well. Yeah, so maybe it's the picture we're seeing from the other side, down there. Cause yeah, it's well, maybe originally it went further up there. Yeah, probably would have And it yeah. was like, it obviously they've like flattened it a little bit, so possibly it was a little bit more hilly back then. But yeah, very interesting, that little bit of a gorge there. A little bit of a rocky outcrop here. Another bench as well. And by the looks of it, used for climbing. Oh, just get that in shot there. The owl hooks. So you can see some of the old quarry there as well. I don't know what this one was called, but no, no, you, this is this is nowhere near where we're going, mate. No, yeah, let's have a little look in here. Any, any caves, anything in here? Nope, just sandstone. So again, I can't remember what this quarry was called, but all this was a quarry at once. It was now filled in. Right, so we've come across another big, big quarry which is down there. So we're gonna be heading on down there in a minute. But before that, we're just gonna show you around this rock formation. What? Yeah. It's just proper, dead easy to lose your burdens in this place. Oh yeah, look at that there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at this. Now, they're the kind of signs we need to see. Path closed due to erosion. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, mate, while we're here, we it would be rude not to climb over that fence. Wow. I didn't, I, you know what? I didn't even see that the other day when I walked up here. Right, so I'm just going to double check for no people coming before we hop over this little gate. What's this here? You just spotted, Eric spotted something here as well. Some sort of old ironwork there as well. We could probably get away with. See the whole thing. The whole thing there is all is all fenced off. So this could be potentially very very interesting, mate. Did you come up here? No, I don't think so. Or if it did, I think that's the reservoir over there. I think that's the reservoir. There's a sandstone wall there, and we can get up here. So we we'll probably get away with climbing up here. Do you reckon? Yeah, I'll just go and get me my umbrella. There's some sort of sandstone there as well. Yeah, Let's have a look at this before we actually head on in. Because I cannot remember coming up this way the other day. 
I think I just, ah, you know what I've done? You just turn left. I turn left down into the quarry. I know. That's the reservoir, I think, over there. Some rock formation here. Uh, this project has been funded by Waste Recycling Group. What project? So as I've said in the past, or mentioned in the video, you've got like loads of these crossroads and crisscross pathways and, and stuff in this uh, park. So, yeah, let's go and head on this path, mate. Right, so we've decided to try the easy route where there's no fence. Um, there's a bit of a wall. Obviously, be careful not to slip on the Isle sandstone. Oh, yeah, we're in. We're in. Yeah, that's the reservoir there on the right. Do what? I know, yeah. There's rubbish up here, but I assume it's been blown up. I don't know. So we could be possibly the first people in many years to explore this forbidden footpath. Let me just double check, because I think this way it goes here. He's disappeared. Right, here we go. So that's where we've just been there, and that's the sign saying uh, not allowed. What? That's the gate there. So there's some steps underneath all this, and there's the footpath now, which we're just about to walk down. And we're going to take you down the bottom here. There's quite 80 to 100 foot drop down there. It takes us right down into an old cave system as well, apparently. And um, it gives you a look at this old quarry from the bottom up. Just watch out for hidden drops, mate. Yeah. Just in case. Oh. Oh, yeah, someone has been here, look. Yeah. Oh, friggin' hell. It's littered with... Party Central. Wow. So I'll take that back. <laughs> We're not the only ones on this path for years. So basically what we're doing is just walking along the side of this reservoir. You can just see there the cliff edge. So we are about, I think it's around about 80 to 100 foot. But I'm not going to get too close to the edge because it is quite wet today as you can see. Doesn't look very eroded to me. Oh, is that my, my pink one? Is that on my pocket? Pink proud, eh, George? Yeah. Proud. Big pink rags on my pocket there. Yeah, look at that. You just get a bit closer to the edge there. Without me, you'd be finding dead horses. That's quite a significant <laughs> drop. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, yeah that's where we're going in a minute. The sandstone kind of turns red from the orangey colour, and see all the, uh, the layers of it as well. So, still on this footpath, and I'm just curious to know what's at the end. Is there another gate, or is it like the one I've done in a uh, Tingill Village? What was that one I've done with? Uh, Oh, and, uh, Holton, you know, Village. Holton Village. Watch out there, mate, because whoa. Very quick there, mate. I know. Don't hold your hands. It's alright. Don't hold my hands. Because <laughs> if I go, Come and hold you're me. coming with me as well. So, yeah, I can see why they're closing now because it is quite. Which way are we going? Just, just carry on with you. This way. I think. Oh fuck! <laughs> I just pushed you and I've slipped myself. Okay. <laughs> fucking hell, you could have slid all the way back down that hole. I know, freaking hell. Oh, you could have fucking died. Ow, 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 nettles, 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 nettles. It's nettles. Stingy here, isn't it? It's stingy, like. Right, this is a. Uh, this is an old sign. Yeah, looks like at one point it used to have information on it. Yeah, still at the side of this reservoir. So we know where it's going to take us. Yeah. It's going to take us to like where I was going to end the video, which is at the top. But obviously, we just need to see. Ooh. Wow! Oh dear! He's going across that, mate. That's too whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, Eric, just stay there a minute. That's too that way. Look at that. Wow. What do you reckon? Should we, should we push on or should we leave it? I'm prepared just to go a bit further. If you want to stay there, I'm all right with it. I don't want two of us falling off. Because if I fall off, you can get the emergency services if, you know, if I'm vice versa like. So. Wow, it was a very, very, very dodgy this. Take little gentle steps. We're going to be going up there anyway, at the end of the video, we'll so... Um, I got on, let me have a look. I don't know, that's... What do you think? you got to stay off the wet, but that's... Slippy, it's slippy, like any. It? It's even mouldy, look. Yeah, I just... It's still scary, I mean, but you're going to have to hug this wall close. Know. Look at that, though, how high it is. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but... Look at that down there. See if you slip. Look at that. It's only one slip, I you? know. You just... Uh, <sighs> see, now the adventures are in me. That's what I mean, it's wait, I'm daring to go, just hold on to the gully. I wouldn't go that close, mate, it's too fucking slippy there. It's only literally there, but it's not. You need to stay on the dry shit here. I know. Should we try it? Oh. <laughs> I'm getting a bit, I'm getting the wobbles, you know, when you're up, so and you, you know, you That's can't. your age, that. No, do you 20 know, years you, ago, you wouldn't be an ass. You know, you can't hold on to anything. Oh, come on. <sighs> it's bad, it is bad, it's, it's all mouldy and slippy here. You wait there then. And I'll just have a little look here because we're going to be coming this, to this anyway. This is going to be the end of the video. So we're coming to the top part here. This is where the video ends. So we're going to be so going. Can you, can you whoa, get, whoa, whoa. So can you get down there from down there? No, you've got to go round. Yeah, so if we go round that way, we'll still end up at the top. Yeah, here. yeah. I wouldn't risk it then if you go to come down. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to have a look at this bit though. Get over and then you can come this way and then you've got a double. I think it's a bit dodgy getting down there though. Yeah. It's better going this way than that way if that makes sense. So I'll just have a tiny look. Careful, no, no. All right, I'm gonna have a quick look. Okay. Yeah. That's slippy. Oh, you can see it is. A little bit, yeah. Oh, be careful there. A little bit. <clears throat> see, this could fall away. This could, this could end up moving. The whole thing could move. Hold um, on to the gully on the inside. No, don't don't follow me, mate. Because <laughs> I can't help it. I don't want. Like no, I. You know what? I, sh I, sh I shouldn't be doing this, honestly. I'm like a fly. Like an old I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I think this is what's called frog's mouth quarry. This overhang here, I think. But let me just have a look. Wow, look at this. Wow. No, 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 no. I'll... Wow. Yeah, but we need to go down first to come up. But there's a massive, massive thing here. Oh, I'm not messing. Uh, it says something, something. 1843. What? Just be careful. Take it slow, like you said. Be careful, mate. Because if you go... Leave your umbrella there, just don't worry about that. Stick to the edge, like you said. Right? It's bad, isn't it? It's bad. Yeah, look at this here. Oh, another one. 1953. Wow. Prepare yourself for this, mate. You will be absolutely amazed by this, okay? There's all sorts of, like, carvings here. Ready? Here you up. Look at that, mate. Look at that. Oh, man. Isn't that, boss? That is absolutely fantastic. Well worth the that's dangerous. Up there, what? That's up, there. up there, that's 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 the top of the cross where everyone keeps has it, it, died. Wow. Let's just take a little moment though just to have a look what's actually on this stone. So there's definitely some markings there, and that says 1953, I think. Yeah, that's definitely because there's, 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 there's the five, yes. Yeah, there's what's one here as well. There's loads, but I can't really, can't really make out what, what they say. There's obviously graffiti from, from, there, from people, like kids and that, but... Wow, I didn't, wow, that is, wow. Look at that, Derek. Look at that. Keep being here, don't you? Wow. I'm going to try and go up here now. Right, there's a step here, mate, right? Step, 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 and up. Wow. There's, you know what? There's tons of uh, old graffiti here, you know. Look at this one, Eric. 1749, 1910. And there's something there, etched in, in the sandstone. Yeah, it's all. That's 1749, eh? Look at that. Look, isn't it? What's that say? Wow, this place is just like... Whew. Loads on there as well. Loads of dead old etchings and markings. I mean, in all honesty, the video hasn't even started yet. We've just come across this now and it's just like... Whew. Jesus. Something over here as well. Um, 1909, J.C.R. Opper, Copper, Cropper, something there as well, E. Barker, 1910, oh this place man, wow, yeah look at this one, 1809, is that 1909? That? That's 1909, that? definitely 1909 man, look at this there, well, it could be 18 though, yeah look at this, yeah, look at that one. JCR Cooper. JCR. Or is it JC Rupert? I don't know. Wow. This is a significant find, this, mate. There's loads on there as well. Jesus. Wow. That's, this is the top now. Um, do you want to, what do you want, yeah, I'll tell you what, oh, we all umbrellas there, isn't it? Can you get it? Can you reach it from where you're at? Yeah, hang on, hang on, let me just try and reach it for you. Hang on, uh, so he's just said, right, he's left his umbrella down there. You on this, on this, like, precarious friggin' cliff edge. Now, I'm standing here, 
right? <laughs> now, can you see an umbrella? No. <laughs> can you reach it? Can you reach it from where you are? Hang on. Yeah, look. Hang on, just chill a minute. Chill, chill. Just let's take a moment to... It's I know it is. No, Eric. It's just... Oh let me just admire this graffiti from 1907. I've chosen... It's not stage fright, it's height fright. I don't do heights, mate. You're going to have to carry me off. Give me a rope. <laughs> wow. So I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll, we'll slowly climb back down this quarry face, this cliff face, and then we'll get Eric's... We'll beloved we'll umbrella. Do, I'll go and get the brolly, then we'll go back this way. No, because so, my, my umbrella's yeah, the other we'll side of the path. That. And that's the way we know where we are, and then we're going to do a path down. All right, then. Work backwards. Go on, then. Just please be careful, mate, I'm honestly. <laughs> no, I know. I am being careful, I'm fucking. I'm telling them to be careful, and I'm following them as well. Your bag's up there. Uh, Just wait there in your bag, can't Yeah, but I want to get some footage of you and pictures. Take it slow. Take it slow, mate. I am blown away by this graffiti. Honestly. Have I missed that one? 1953? Is that D right, is he? So I assume this has been done when the quarry's been, you no, know, when it closed down. So what we're going to do now, because I've left my umbrella at the other side of this path, um, we are going to go the other way around. So, That's how slippy that is, look at that. Yeah, look, yeah, let me just get that on camera. Yeah. Just, just just, slip a bit more, just make it look better. Yeah, look at that one. Oh, it's very slippy, yeah. Yeah, use your hand. That's okay. Ugh. Fucking hell. I'm fucked off wow. that. You know what, there's probably more graffiti there, but can you be bothered? Wow, this place is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You know I enjoyed that? That was fucking cool, man. Let's take one more look at that. What does it say, Jay? There's all sorts of beer as well. Yeah, it's weird. Absolutely weird. Can you just see some of it? Yeah. Oh, it's alright, I'm just shooting before you shoot. That's how we'll do it. I don't know what that says because it's it's quite eroded but if someone can probably screenshot that I might think I would actually screenshot it myself make it a bit darker she go absolutely nuts at me Which is the way out, see there's even yeah there's even graffiti here right Dawn Leslie Steve 24th of the 5th 1989 this place requires further investigation, mate, because there is tons and tons of... the way out? Yeah, up here, but this is literally the top now. Wow. <laughs> Told you it was good, didn't I? And I honestly didn't think... Wouldn't you expect to see that? No, I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, there's something there of a... There's like a picture there of a, of a boot or a shoe as well. Hang on, hang on. Wow. <clears throat> right, so we're at the top. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop filming because this is going to be where the video ends. We just didn't expect to get up this high so quickly. So we're going to take you right down the bottom to where um, we were supposed to go before. And just a little look over the edge there, you can just see. And I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. But that's where we've just been, just... That's the drop. ...along this ridge here. Right, so we're back at the spot now. And my umbrella is still there. Fortune favours the brave. Oh, yes. Looks like it's been close for a while, doesn't it, as well? Like a long, long while, mate. That's you growing in the middle, Yeah, it? long, like years, donkey's yeah. years. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head on down in the valley, I'm going to show you this amazing, amazing quarry remains because it's like absolutely mind blowing. And as we head on down here, you 
see some of the sandstone changing colour as well. The deeper you get, the uh, the more redder it seems to get. I don't know if that's, I don't know, is that normal? I'm not a sandstone expert like, yeah, but... Isn't that the layers of the centuries? I think so. Because what it is, it's, 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 in geology, it's when it, the stone changes colour as, as the centuries pass on and it gets smaller than that. Probably, yeah. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I like to ask people in the comments what they think yeah, about it. Them, yeah. So there's a layer. There's a ledge there we can get onto, but that's literally where we've just been, that path. So there's probably no point in going up there. But then again, there could always be something decent there that we miss. No, have you been up there? There's nothing. And you haven't seen nothing. <laughs> no, we're going this way. I mean, I had a look up there the other day, but I couldn't find nothing. Do you want to have a quick nosy up? Before we bear, bear left. You still get to our bad anyway. Yeah, we'll just come back down. It's no big deal. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder where these tunnels are though, because obviously they were filled in. Maybe it's where. And if there was mention, maybe you get a, a, an old quarry map or something. It could be where it's exploring a little bit further from the zone. To be fair, we've only been here a couple of hours. Though. I know. Oh, this weather. Oof. Yeah, so when I was here the other day, I was just bimbling down here as you do. And I came across what looked like a massive, massive cave entrance. Well, not a, I say massive, a big cave entrance. So I'm just going to show you a bit of that sandstone before we head on in. I don't think it's going to go very far, in all honesty. But you never know. Is that it? Little small thing. Oh, well, better than nothing. Any holes to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not Is that, that it? Yeah, yeah. Oh well. People have built fires in there, isn't there? Not really any marks, are there? Let's get my torch out and properly light it up. So by the power of the sun. Dink. Yeah, with the help of mine though. Now yours is a little puny. You know I mean? If I take mine away, look how dark it goes and then I put mine back to you. Aldi or something. <laughs> no, mine was Amazon. <laughs> was it? From Amazing, I got it from Amazing. Do you think at one point it was... No, it wasn't, was it? Spider webs, cave spiders. That's a nice one. Sand as well. The 200 million year old sand. Glass bottles as well. I wonder if any of that um, is old. No, I can see .com on something there. Um, no, there's not much in there to see, I don't think. Right, so as we wave goodbye to that little cave system, uh, we need to press on now with more sandstone goodness. So we're going to... Want to try and get down there? Go down that way, because that's a bit of Go down that way, because he's slightly older than me. I don't know if this is old or not, but... Um, oh, no, it's not. Dave loves someone. That's not. And he's got, to be, he's got to leave him the heart on the end of this one. It's Pat. Dave loves Pat. Oh, yeah. Dave and Pat, if you're still together and you're watching this video... Your love is in stone. Yeah, your love is set <laughs> in stone. Uh, please get in touch. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, 1968, eh, George? Hang on. So you can just see there as well. Um, you can just see some hooks where people use this as climbing. I don't know if they still use it, but... Oh, wow, yeah. See? Just there. What did you find? Oh, 1968. I think that's 1858, is it? Or was it 19? Oh, 1968, yeah. You are correct, the mundo there, mate. So, yeah, I was walking down here the other day and I just glanced across and I seen something on the wall and I thought, what's that? And it's 
down a bit of a bit of a mud pit. So obviously on closer inspection, it was a 15-year-old kid who slipped off in 1995 and fell to his death. And this is the spot where he died, which I'm about to show you now. But he literally fell from all the way up there. And again, on camera, you can't really get the scale of how big it is, but believe me, wow, it is a hell of a drop. So, I'm just gonna take you down now and show you. Oh. So there's a cross there, which marks a spot where Wayne Stephen O'Donnell fell to his death on the 7th of July, 1995 age 15 years love mum dad and sister Nikki remembered always I know you've got the cross there as well 7795 uh, there's a stone there as well but I don't know if that's to do with I think that was that just I, I don't know if it was a memorial stone or something but yeah so obviously Wayne is not the only person to have died here and also be injured here. There's, there's quite a lot of people who uh, have died here because this place is absolutely, it's, 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 it's ruthless up the top, I'm telling you. It's absolutely ruthless up the top and it's just dead easy to slip off. And um, it's, oh, it's just, I mean, look how high that is. So Wayne 15 of Beechwood died after falling 100 foot from this Runcorn Hill beauty spot in July 1995. Um, uh, so another one as well, uh, Carly May 14, plunged 60 foot from the same cliff face. She survived, but is critically injured in Alder Hay Children's Hospital. And there's someone else, uh, another young man, Kevin Rule from Southport, was left paralyzed in a wheelchair after falling from the cliff so many years ago. And there's another man as well, I can't remember our fan now. Um, do, 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 do. I think he took his own life here. I think he jumped off. That's that's an Echo article, I think. I'll try and find it as much as I don't like the Echo, but I'll post a, a picture up of that. So we're just going to leave the spot now where Wayne died, and we're going to take you up the top of this cliff face, and we're going to show you how bloody dangerous this place is. Whatever name that is has been scrubbed Green. out. Yeah. Age eight, eight, years. eight years. 1977. Is he fell? I am. Um, Eight years? No, that, that'd be in the papers, that if someone fell eight years old down here. I don't get that one. That's weird, isn't it? A kid of eight years hasn't broke that, because look at the way it's... No, no on. chance. No chance. Well, there's no memorial, there's nothing... Unless, well, I'll Google that, see, what, see if anything... Uh, but there's no name, so the, whatever name was on there originally, someone didn't want it on there, so they've scrubbed it out. Yeah. So... Well, there's loads, yeah, look at this here. J.C. Riley. 1948 AD. Yeah, that's... So, yeah, there's, there's something there as well, which you can just... Wow. I know. But apparently the tunnels of this quarry were used as air shelters during the war. But where those tunnels are, are a bloody mystery. Well, the mystery to us, but someone will know. Someone from the council or someone will know. Um, as I say, mentioned in the past. Can you map that somewhere? Yeah. It was supposed to be excavated out, but um, nothing has come of that just yet. And there's loads more stuff here as well. 1930 something. So you could stay here all day, couldn't you? Just. Yeah, I'm not going to have more. Yeah, look. Like, just. What's the oldest one we've found? Oh, I don't know. But look at that, just... <clears throat> right, so where we were before, on the top, when we climbed along that ridge, so... <sighs> very, very windy, I'll just try and... I'll just try and shield you from the wind, but... Yeah, this is... This is the spot where... It's injured quite a few people and it's killed one 
well the one that I know that's documented but there might be there might be other people who've died here I don't know but um, I'll just see how close I can get to this cliff edge yeah so there's a footpath down there so that's where we've just been a little cave thing and uh, during the summer summer holidays there's loads of people up here uh, kids just hanging around being kids uh, people having barbecues up here and stupidly drinking alcohol as well which is a bit of a bit of a no-no on the top of this I think and I think that is called Frog's Mouth or oh, that's why I think this is called Frog's Mouth Quarry but that's where we came up before when we climbed on so that ridge. The mouth then, is it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So I'm just gonna take you along here. But I mean there's graffiti on the top as well. But this is slightly new, I think. Yeah. And then there's the path down there where we've just been. You can just see the uh orangey sandstone, but oof. It's not good standing on the top of this with no safety barrier with an umbrella pulling you back. I, 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 God, I really think they should have put some sort of barrier They there. should, at least, because, got people dying, it's not you know, I mean, I'd hate to come up here for night and not know this was here yeah. and just go wink and, and slip off. But as you can see there, I'm just on, is that the frog's mouth I'm on now? Yeah. yeah you're on the frog's mouth. And then there's, I say there's probably tons more of dead old graffiti but as you can see the weather is horrendous today it's it was a it was it went a bit mild and it went a bit heavy a little bit of sun so um yeah we just thought we'd end the video here and just to show you how dangerous this um this park is because i know this is like a quarry rock face and that it still is runcorn hill park so yeah it's it's baffled me how you know the council haven't done that about this and just put like like um saying that they don't have it on, on the, the, the cliffs of Dover do they or do they? And there's nothing there. You've got like the sea. The oh, yeah. drop into the water, they don't put no barriers yeah, on it. So. I think you just rely on people's common sense. Right, so that was a look at the remains of Runcorn Quarry or Runcorn Hill Quarry, Runcorn Hill Park. It got to be one of the most dangerous parks in the UK, possibly, uh, mainly because I have to say this little cliff face here is a major hangout for kids and just people in general. But yeah, it is very, very, very dangerous. And I don't know why, as I've mentioned before, why the council have not put any sort of fencing in place so yeah uh, in search of them tunnels as well if anyone does know where they're located or if there are tunnels still here yeah please do let me know because uh, from what I've read they're all filled in and they need excavate to, to find them maybe they were going to open them for like a tourist section but um, who knows but yeah very 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 lovely spot to come Lots of dog walkers, and there's a nice deli called Esposito's, which I'm probably going to go and get an ice cream now, which sell absolutely delicious ice creams. And I remember years ago, they used to sell like really good um, milkshakes as well. Yeah, we we'll go that way. And uh, so yeah, so that was a look at that today. Lots of lots of stuff coming up, lots of unseen stuff coming up, lots of like really interesting stuff. I like to I like to try and keep it interesting as well. As much as this is probably going to be a long video. Um, it's probably going to be an interesting one maybe as well but the full um, information on this quarry can be found online I'm not going to do a, a bit of a voiceover I've just put a bit of snippet up that's like the start of the video and if you want to see or read about it by all means go online I'll drop a little link in the description as well so yeah so that's it for now and as always folks thanks for watching and I'll catch you probably with him as well you might not see him for months but that's a you, you, you'll you know catch what? me in the next video. I, I, I do I, all the Go time. I'm, I'm available. It's just ah, it's too cold or it's wet. He only came out today because I said I was. No, no, no. How many videos have you seen with me? 
in the last in the bad weather. couple of months. In the bad right, on my own. In the bad weather. Or we're out. In the bad weather. It doesn't matter. It's a terrible light and not in the bad weather. See, when you, when, when you need me, I'm here in the bad weather. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.